What's up, everybody? You tapped into the Purple Pocket Podcast, and it's your boy, R.A.P. You know what I'm saying? We might have fixed our offensive line problem, man. We might have fixed it. Now, we know for a fact that we have somebody on this offensive line that's going to single-handedly hold us back, and we have to fix that. But, I mean, the news coming out of camp about our boy Ed Ingram is surprising, for one, because we haven't heard anything good about an offensive lineman that we've signed other than, I mean, obviously, Darisol we're hearing this year for his second year, and Brian O'Neill being a solid right tackle lately, um, you know, that that's good news, but it's rare for a Vikings fan to hear something good coming off of the offensive line, and Ed Ingram, man, is bringing the positive vibes, okay? Um, Ed Ingram, when we drafted him, man, like I said, this dude, man, going back and watching him, he's a savage, bro. He, I mean, he really is. He's just strong, you know, just athletic. Just, just what we need, man. Things that we look for in the offensive line. And I said that he's probably the one rookie that we drafted that can be an automatic starter. Like, that pretty much has no competition in front of him, right? He can just step in, get the job. I mean, because there's nobody in front of him. We went into this not knowing who the right guard was gonna going to be. Right? Cause we obviously knew that Oli Udo was not coming in again this year and just automatically starting. That just couldn't happen. Okay. That was horrible. Only people that were solidified is Brian O'Neill, Ezra Cleveland, and Christian Darasaw. Okay. Those guys are the only ones that deserve a starting job and have locked in their starting spot, rightfully so. You feel me? Rightfully. So everybody else on that line, job should be in jeopardy. And Ezra Cleveland saying that he's the weakest link, you know, is a good problem to have because I don't think he's that bad. I mean, is he great? No, he's not great, but he's not bad, though. You feel what I'm saying? Like he can hold his own. As long as we have some solid pieces around him, he can get help from Darisaw. We get a we get a center, a real center in there and get Bradbury out of there. He's going to be perfectly fine. OK, he'll be all right. But now we got Ed Ingram in there, which. OK, so supposedly he he split reps with Davis, um, you know, with the first team. All right. But, you know, that's a good sign because he was doing just strictly second team. But now he's splitting with the first. That means the coaches are looking and saying, you know what? I think we have something in this guy, man. This guy, you know should be the starter man rightfully so man he's just bigger stronger you know plays better more athletic man can just help protect Kirk Cousins and that is one of the main things we need man not only for the run game but the way our offense is going to run this year man I mean pass protection is important bro pass protection has to be the number one priority man it has to be you know we gonna have to be able to let Kirk get back there and throw that ball man you know what I'm saying? And um, I think Ed Ingram gives us that best chance. You feel me? I just think he gives us that best chance, man. So, you know, how y'all feel about Ed Ingram, man? Do y'all think he was a good pickup? I do. I think he's going to turn out. It's just crazy now. It feels good as a fan just knowing, right, that our line is slowly but surely getting built up how we need it to take the next step, man. You can see everything is happening right in front of our eyes. That's going to take us to a Super Bowl. Everything. All right. Pay close attention. Every all the stars are aligning. And Ed Ingram, believe it or not, is, a, is one of those stars that's going to align and say, you know what? This offensive line is finally coming together. Like I said, man, let's fix the center. And I think we'll be good because um, I have absolutely no faith in Gab Bradbury, man. That's just it, man. I don't I think if they keep him in there, and we roll him out. He's going to single-handedly destroy this offensive line and make it look worse than it really is to where if we just get somebody average up in there, I mean, we'll look like we'll have one of the best offensive lines in the league, man. That's my take on it, man. Hey, y'all let me know how y'all feel down in the comments section. I want to thank everybody, man. Got me to 600 subs. Next stop, man, 700. Y'all make sure y'all hitting that sub button, man. Let your peoples know to subscribe to Purple Pocket Podcast. Appreciate you watching. I'll let your boy appreciate everybody for tapping into the purple pocket podcast y'all make sure y'all hit that like subscribe and turn the notification bell on purple gang